Somebody posted a query on one of my Q3HD blog posts on homebrewedmusic.com and was looking for a way to increase the volume of his Q3HD clips without spending any money. So I thought I would take a look at uh, some a workflow to pull in your uh, movie files out of your Q3HD, give the volume a little bump, maybe add some other effects, EQ, whatever you might want to do, then sync that new modified file back with your uh, video all using free tools. We'll start with Audacity. Audacity will actually work on the audio of a movie file. It's an easy way to get the audio out of a movie file if you ever want to do that. We have the newest version of Audacity here and we have install the FFmpeg library. You have to do this in order to be able to manage video with any real power. Um, there's a nice little button here that will take you through the process to download those libraries. While you're there, be sure you get the lame library so you can do MP3. And with those installed, you're ready to import movie files. Now there's not a menu selection for movie files, but there's audio. Testing to see if we can raise the volume in post using only freeware tools. Ta da 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 da. And now we can bring in our file, and that's what the audio looks like on that little movie clip. One of the things you'll notice is that there are some real high peaks here, and what we're going to do is bump the volume up, and that high peak is going to make it is going to limit how much we can bump the volume. So let's go right in there. And we'll use Effect, Amplify, and we'll reduce the volume, minus 12 dB, say. So now we can go Control-A, that selects the whole waveform, use Effect, Amplify. It offers as its default, Amplify until we're at 0 dB for our highest peak. I like to leave a little margin, so we'll go minus 1 dB for our highest peak. We'll add 15 dB of gain to this track. Now we can listen to it. Testing to see if we can raise. And then file export. And we'll use a uh, wave file. We'll stay with the incoming name. We're going back to the same directory don't want to do any tags, we're done. That's all it takes to create a copy of the audio with and, and do whatever you want to it, raise the volume. Whatever you do, don't trim it, don't make it shorter or longer, don't uh, you know change its length because that'll make it a lot harder to put back together. There, there are two files now. We have the movie file that we originally got from the Zoom Q3 HD and we have the WAV file that we created by extracting it using Audacity and changing the volume and saving it as a WAV file. Now we need to pull those two files together and create a new output file. And for that, we'll use a tool called AVI Demux, another free um, program that we can use to manipulate video. All we do is open the movie file. There it is. We can play it. Testing. There it goes. Then uh, we use the audio option. Select track. We we'll use track one. It took me a while to find this. We want to click that button. Add audio track. Pull in our WAV file. Now I couldn't find a uh, an output format that used a PCM, a WAV file. So we're going to use AAC, and I like to set it up pretty high, 224 KB. That should give good fidelity. OK that. So now we're going to copy the video stream. We're going to change the audio, our new audio uh, that we created in Audacity, into an AAC file. And we're going to output an MP4. So now let's just file save that. 
One thing about ABID mocks, you always have to type the extension. It doesn't guess what you want for you. So make sure it matches the format you chose. In this case, MP4. Save that. And it's done. Okay. Now we should be able to play our MP4. Testing to see if we can raise the volume in post using only freeware tools. Ta da 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 da. So that's all there is to it. Takes a little bit of downloading, searching on the internet, configuring, but it's pretty easy to come up with a couple of software tools that let you bump up the volume in your Q3 HD files without affecting the video quality at all and without spending any money. Uh, hope you found that useful. Please visit us at www.homebrewedmusic.com.